Boys and girls, what I'm going to tell you about happened a long, long time ago. And you're going to know that it's a long time ago because it happened on my son Stephen's fourth birthday. It took place in a place called Levittown. That's where we were living. And my son Stephen and my daughter Joan and I were sitting at the kitchen table and big, big flakes of snow came drifting down. They were just floating down and it was so quiet when all of a sudden, let me in, let me in, please let me in. Well, I took, shook my head. I was sure I was dreaming something. And I looked at Joan and I looked at Steve and they shook their heads. We didn't know what was happening when all of a sudden, please, please let me in. I'm so lonely out here. And Joan looked at me and said, m -m 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 Mommy, I hear a voice. And Steve said, Yeah, Mom, do something. You know, mommies always have to know what to do. Well, I looked at them and then all of a sudden, we saw a big snowflake right at the window. But this snowflake had two eyes and a nose and a mouth and had wings on its back. And Joan said, oh, mommy, please do something. So I lifted up the window just a drop and in popped snowflake. Hi, everybody. Hi. How are you and who are you? I said, well, well, I'm Mommy, and Joan said, uh, I'm Joan, and Steve said, I'm Steve. And we said, but who are you? He said, oh, I'm Snowflake, the Snowflake Fairy. But then she suddenly stopped and wiggled herself and shook, and she said, oh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. She was beginning to melt. Oh, and Joan and Steve both yelled out, Mommy, she's melting. Do something. I opened the refrigerator, put her on one, of the, on one of the levels, and I said, whatever you do, you stay right there, and don't you move. Oh, I'll be good. I promise. And boys and girls, that's the end of the first Snowflake story. And someday when we have more time, I'll tell you some more.